Hey everyone, Optimus Wilbur here, and this video is not suitable for children under the age of 13. This is aimed at young collectors and adult collectors. Let's start the video. Welcome everyone back to another Optimus Wilbur Reviews and if you want to make baby Grimlock happy why not hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it amongst your Transformer friends even leave a comment, that helps the channel out so much and if you want to help the channel more why not go to the description box, there's various links to the other two channels and different things that you can do to help support the channel especially Dive, now that's a live streaming app I've been using and I'm going to be using it even more, so going behind the scenes, showing you what I'm up to, even doing the editing for the videos during the process. Now we are near the end of Armada, there's really only two main bots left to go, apart from the two videos with the combinations, but we'll count them separate, but when you think about it, we really just have Megatron and Prime, and a certain planet eater still to come. But this is a revisit. I did Megatron well over... Whew, how long's the channel been going now? So right at the start, nearly right at the start, I'd done Armada Prime and Armada Megatron because they were the first two Transformers I bought. And I didn't feel I gave the bot a good sense of a review at the time. I didn't have a really good enough equipment to do it. And now I wanted to give it the, the full look I do with all the videos now and behind the scenes stuff with the toy photography. But Armada Megatron is one of my favourite Megatrons. And the fact it's a throwback to the Generation 2 tank mould and then they brought this version back um, in Combinal Wars as a different variation of that tank. And of course I've got the third party version which I've done a video on and... That has two sets of stuff that you can make it either Combiner Wars Megatron or Combiner Wars Armada Megatron and it's black and purple and it was brilliant. So to finally get back to this guy and give it the review I think it deserved um, is something I've really wanted to do and I've looked forward to so much. Tank mode is perfect. In my opinion it's perfect. And you can see where it's carried over to the likes of the Siege Line. For Megatron, especially where everything connects. There is a lot of hidden features though in the tank. It's not just a standard tank. So of course you've got the main barrel. And if you push it, it makes a sound effect. Missile fires out. If we use his Minicon, Leader 1. I like how they actually done that from the GoBots. And if we push him back. Now there is that sound effect is going to play all the time. But these missiles come up and you can fire them, which is pretty cool as well. Come here, flip this button, we have missile launchers, there's nothing in them, it's just a gimmick. We can close that down, and then we've got, I can't remember if it's like a jail or whatever, but we've got a cargo bay as well, if I can open it here. And you can put Nothing on it, because nothing fits. <laughs> There's a lot of slots where you can put mini cons in, and of course, round here as well. This flips up, if I can grab it without nails. And again, you can put a mini con there if you want. But it has got one at the back here. Flip it down, and that's meant to grab mini cons. So what we'll do, because it's just next to me, we'll bring in Chrome Spark Plug. And that gives you a rough idea of like sort of how it'd look. But overall, the tank mode is my favourite. I absolutely still love this tank mode. The pencils, however, was one thing I, I was never a fan of. <laughs> I didn't really like these big pencils. They can close and they're meant to grab stuff, but that was it. They'd never really done anything. But tank mode, I loved Still can move perfect going back and forward. And of course the repaint in Galvatron was brilliant. 
But comparing the two paints though, I think there's more detail in this compared to the Galvatron one. So I'll show you that just now. Having the two side by side, okay, you've got the battle damage parts in Galvatron, whereas you don't have it in Megatron. But there's various other parts coloured in and more, de uh, more detailed with the paint compared to Galvatron, where I think it's just put the colours on and that was it. Galvatron will show up after Prime. He's going to be there with Tidal Wave for the combination, so that's when you'll get to see Galvatron. But let's talk transformation, so let's start with Leader 1. If I take him off and we'll push Megatron out of the way. Neat little tank, little battle car, whatever you want to call it. He can move really good as well, still for this time. And if I just sharpen the camera, all you'll do is transform him, flip him down like that. And there you go, transformed. Megatron is extremely simple to transform. So the way I like to do it, start at the back. So let's get his feet, flip these parts down, come underneath where everything's hidden and just split apart the legs. Now that he's standing, we're going to have to twist everything round. So pull up the midsection, flip the turret round so it's like this. And I'm going to be cutting this because every time that's why. And what you're doing is just flipping the body round. Flip this section back round again. Come underneath, you're going to see everything hook up there and that's just to line everything up. Just close it down. Open these panels here. Flip out the arms. Then come at the front. Slide it down. And there you have... Armada Megatron, all transformed. A brilliant size and a brilliant take on the character. Especially the colour scheme, I really love. Because it, it has got parts of it being a Generation 2, which I love. The only thing I didn't like was he didn't have a fusion cannon. And the way they worked around it, which is with the power link mode. And what you had to do, you get those two ways... That was one, or that, which I extremely hate. I do not like that whatsoever. And it's meant because you can do that and turn around and that's all you get to hear. I do not like that version. So what I like to do for a weapon is I take leader one and I put him down like this. And I just put him on like that. And he's kind of got like a, a mini fusion cannon. It's not the greatest, but it can do... Hidden features with the bot mode. He's got this knife that can come out. You can use a mini con if you want to push it down. But when it comes to posability, there's really just this. Only the arms move going that way and background with that hinge at the elbow. The head can turn slightly, but not the best. Legs can't go forward because of the way the transformation works. But after all these years with it, it's still one of my favourites. Still to this day, I still love looking at it. And the fact that they released a new version in the Combiner Wars, which I thought was fantastic. And I missed out on it. Um, I even missed out on the official Combiner Wars Megatron. There wasn't really a lot in Britain. And thankfully I got a third party one, which was a different take. It was all black. It looked a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And that was a nice way to keep everything different in my opinion now throughout all the times they've always teased with armada prime we had that prototype and now we've got a third party naval commander coming but i would like to have seen something official come to stand next to that combiner wars armada megatron especially with like the memories i've got of this guy like being the second transformer i bought i bought him in prime at the same time and he was just brilliant. Absolutely loved the character. In the show, I love the look of this. So let's do a height comparison. Because I've still got him from the last video. Let's bring in Starscream. Put him behind him. And that gives you a rough idea of the height. He was actually quite big for a size for a leader class at the time. And if I zoom in for some of the details, the details are actually quite sharp. 
especially the way they've got the mesh working with the Decepticon logos. You've got a mini one in there for the face mask where it goes up in battle mode. And it just looks great. Overall, fantastic character, fantastic toy. And if you're collecting Amada and you do not have him, you need him. You absolutely need him. Either or with the Galvatron version, I do like both. But this one is special to me. Very special. And I'm quite happy I managed to bring him back again, but do it the way I wanted to do it for a review. Galvatron will be up soon. He is with Tidal Wave for the combination. But up next, guys, there's only one bot after Megatron you can go. And I'll see you in the next Optimus Wilbur review. Thank you for everyone who tuned in today's video. If you want to make baby Grimlock happy, why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. All new videos are always coming right here in Optimus Wilbur Reviews. If you'd like to follow me in any of my social media links, all the descriptions are in the description box below. And of course, as always, I cannot stress this enough, I wish to thank Cybertronic Spree for allowing me to use their song Cybertronic Warrior as the theme of this channel. Guys, this is an incredible band that does incredible covers and recently just done an amazing album of the Transformers 1986 movie soundtrack. Please follow them and all their social media links. I have every description in the description box below. Please check them out and as always Transformer fans, till all are one.